Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's summarize all the things we can do with determinants to understand better why we need them. So we can define determinants by finding out what we actually use them for. And again, they're associated with matrices. There's no such thing as determinants if you don't have an n by n matrix representing something. But assuming we know what those matrices are, and they represent typically equations or systems of linear equations, we can then use determinants to analyze those systems of linear equations. We can use them to solve systems of linear equations using Kramer's rule. And you saw a small example for a 2x2 two two matrix like that in the previous video. Of course, we'll show you some more complex examples with larger uh, equations or larger systems of equations like that. Also, we can use them to solve for the method of least squares. We can use them to find the inverse of a matrix. And we can use them to determine if a matrix actually does have an inverse or not. We can also use them to find the characteristic equation of a matrix. And we do that by finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Eigenvalues are the characteristic roots of the characteristic equations that we derive from these matrices. We can also use them to solve differential equations, very handy for that, and of course we're going to use eigenvalues and eigenvectors for that. And we can find the area and volume of certain geometric shapes using determinants as well. And there's other things, especially when it goes to analyzing, when it comes to analyzing systems of linear equations, there's all kinds of different things we can look for by using determinants. So you can see they're actually very useful mathematical tools. Again, they're simply a mathematical tool that helps us determine the meaning and value of these matrices, which represent typically systems of linear equations. And that's what a determinant is.